Okay, so we'll just have a look at the student flyer. Uh, it comes in as a kit. Uh, we're looking here at some of the, the plywood parts. Okay, these are the, the ribs that go in the wings. Okay, the form is there. All the parts come on the sheet and they're all pre-cut. All you've got to do is just uh, cut along these little tabs here and remove the parts from the sheets. So all the parts you need there to get started and you simply take the parts out and get started building. Okay, so let's have a look at the basic airframe. Okay, this is the design here. Uh, first of all, it's a 58 centimeter wingspan. So it's actually an indoor flyer. Okay, it's, it's a large wingspan for an indoor flyer, but it gives a very low wing loading and slow flight as well. Okay, so even though it's 58 centimeter wingspan, it's a good indoor flyer. Also, having the wingspan as it is, it also allows it to be flown outdoors in a gentle breeze. Okay, for, so for school students, uh, which is mainly what this airframe is designed for, uh, we've got an airframe that can be flown inside the school hall or outside uh, on the oval, uh, depending on, on conditions. Okay, so let's take a look at the airframe. First thing we've got is a recessed tractor prop. Okay, so of course flying around inside a hall, you could actually run into something. Okay, so this, uh, this tractor prop here being recessed, this gives a bit of protection. Uh, so you hit on the front here instead of hitting and damaging the, the gear drive. Okay, heading down to the back of the airframe, we've got a similar feature down here. This one right here. Okay, at the end of the lesson, the airframes are put away in the cupboard. So of course you've got your control surfaces here, you don't want to get them damaged. So this one just gives a little bit of protection as well and protects the control surfaces. Okay, once again, less chance of damage. Okay. So of course the airframe comes with the, the gear drive and the propeller and all the control linkages uh, that you need, uh, Z-links, as well as these servo mounts here. Right, all underneath here, we'll have a look at this piece of carbon rod here, just for strengthening. And there's actually another piece of carbon rod in here for strengthening as well. Okay, what we've got is the wings that are held on with rubber bands. So we'll just take these off. So it's designed like this to be, to be very compact. So once, it's, uh, once you're finished for the day, of course the wings can be taken off and it can easily be stacked away in the cupboard like this. Okay, on the wings, just put this here. Okay, on the wings we've got this, this wooden tab here and that slides into this slot. So it's, uh, it's positioned and it, it can't move. It holds it in, in place as well as this positioning tab at the back here. So basically the wings just slide on like this and position at the back there. So the wings are straight and they're level, they can't move. And then just held on with two rubber bands. Okay, so that's the, the basic airframe as you receive it with the, all the airframe parts, the, the gear drive, the prop, and the control linkages as well. Okay, so let's just have a look at one that's been built here. Okay, so this one we've got this uh, fully fitted out. You can see I've mounted the receiver up the top here. And the battery, we're recommending a, at least a 300 milliamp hour battery for this one. That'll give you at least half an hour flight time. Okay, so less time changing batteries and charging batteries during the lesson. Okay, so it gives you a nice long flight time. And of course with the, the large wingspan uh, and low wing loading, you can, you can carry a battery this size, which is really good. Okay, a good feature of this is these removable servos. So we're recommending this receiver here, which has a servo to just plug into it. And these servos, or have a look there. You can see they're held in with two screws on the servo mounts there. So, of course, if you do have a, a problem with the servo, you can easily just remove it, take the screws out and remove it. And it's a much better idea uh, compared to gluing the, the servos onto the airframe. All right, now, on the front of the airframe, you might notice we've got this, this flat piece right here, okay, intentionally left flat. So what that's for, is if you want to mount an FPV setup on it. 
Okay, so a little little camera there, or even an all-in-one unit just sitting there. Okay, and it's in front of the prop, so you get uh, get good vision out of that camera. Okay, in this particular setup, we have the the micro transmitter here, and that runs on a separate battery. And then further up the back here, we've got our aerial. Okay, so this airframe, it's uh, it's, it's voluntarily capable of carrying a, a miniature FPV setup as well. Okay, so that's the airframe, completed airframe. And on this one, we're using a 4025 prop. That's the one that'll come with the kit. Uh, you can go up to a 5030 prop there, uh, better climbing performance and a little bit better speed. Uh, but this 4025 prop gives uh, gives a nice docile slow flight and just what you need for indoor flying and student flyers. Okay, so there's the airframe there. Okay, once again, comes with the, the motor, the prop, all the parts you need, the, the wing spars here, carbon rods, uh, control linkages, and push rods. So there's the airframe as you see it there.